superstar in WWE history that's worked harder than John Cena. And you know, Cole, I don't know how he does it. He's on the road nearly every day of the year. I don't think he ever sleeps. A big match for him here tonight. Let's see if he's up for the challenge. John Cena's in the ring and possesses a big fight main event feel. It's just another reason why Cena's known as the franchise. What do you think about John Cena? You're talking about someone who has all the talent necessary to become one of the all-time greats. Wow, he's still down after that. So damaging. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Nice reversal. John Cena with the offense. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Keep your eye on Cena. So damaging. Okay, King, we have two faces of their generations, two icons in their prime. John Cena and The Rock, both who have a history of respect and hard-fought matches against each other that has formed one of the most notable rivalries in WWE. Uh, you can say that again, Cole. These two men met at WrestleMania 28 in one of the most memorable matches of all time. No one ever thought that they'd see John Cena versus The Rock. Three. It's unbelievable. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John oh. Cena is so technically sound. Five. Six. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, Seven. who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? Eight. That's important. You know, another thing when you think about this rivalry, it doesn't stop with John Whoa. Cena and The Rock's careers in the WWE. Both these superstars work in the movie industry as well and have made quite a name for themselves right there. One. Two. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. Three. I don't agree with you, King. Cena's going to take a chance. Four. Wow, getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Oh, man, is he fired up. Three. Well, King, you're right about that. When you watch these two guys, one thing that is certain oh. is that very seldom have we witnessed a rivalry of this stature, which will live as long as these two men meet in the ring. Every time they meet, there's fireworks. This match, like all the other times Six. these men have met, will go down in history as one of the greats of all time. Oh, yeah. Seven. Take a look at this. Here comes the 
champ. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads P A I N. The fight's being brought right to him. No kidding, this is tough. with the Thez Press. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Two. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? You know, Three. it's remarkable. When John Cena has his adversary incapacitated, there's always the very real possibility that he will go to the submission hole. And there goes the table. Well, all bets are off now. Well, it was nice while well it lasted. To the ring now. King, you can take a breath. <gasps> Six. The franchise, John Cena's letting everyone here know that he's in charge, he's Seven. in control. Eight. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. Much more of that. And he's not going to last long. We're looking at complete domination here. Here we go. Whoa. Check this out. He might have been down, but not out. We've seen this before. And when John Cena is able to lock in that STF hold that we were talking about, the result is pretty predictable. Very few of his foes are able to escape it. Right. Cena has a lot of championship matches on his resume, and so many of them have ended on a tap out after John's applied the STF. You know, a few of those contests come to mind, Michael. Cena used the STF to force Mark Henry to tap out at Money in the Bank in 2013. That was for the WWE Championship. And Cena finished Chris Jericho with it at Armageddon in 08 for the heavyweight title. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, just goes to show you, nobody's immune to the effects of John Cena's STF. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. What a display of power that was. Look how slow he is to recover. Oh my gosh. Diving headbutt, diving headbutt. Man, how devastating. That has got to hurt both opponents. Well, we can take back on... That can't be enough, can it? I don't think so. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Cena looking to put him away right here. Oh my, John Cena. Daniel Bryan's pin a big show for the World Heavyweight Championship has always been viewed as controversial by some. After all, it was the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, who had already flattened show and knocked him. counter. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. attack the arm it reminds me of how wwe hall of famer arn anderson would incapacitate an opponent's arm yeah they actually should have called him arm anderson oh man cutting off circulation to the brain you could pass out from a hold like that i don't believe the destruction we're seeing this guy's just going from one painful move to another oh no we know what this is Submission holds locked in, and he's in big trouble. Oh, he's going to have to block out the pain if he hopes to escape this. You know, you can call Daniel He Bryan. did it. What a huge win. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe. And they want to talk about incredible. Here's your winner. 
incredible submission move, and here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. One last thing about this match real quick. It's amazing how fired up this St. Louis crowd was throughout the entire encounter. Hi, this is Christopher Daniels, Fallen Angel, Ring General, All Around Almighty, and I want to let you know about a new YouTube channel called Future Wrestle Games. If you want to see some great videos about wrestling, video games, plus some stuff about Ring of Honor and some other neat stuff, check out Future Wrestle Games. That's the name of the channel on YouTube. Subscribe, like, uh, comment as much as you can, and let everybody know that Christopher Daniels sent you. Enjoy the channel, and good luck. Thanks.